So we're heading out for the day, and uh, right there, we have a diurnal four-toed salamander. What on earth? That is the last thing I was expecting to see in the road this morning, but I'm not going to complain about it. Really cool. Uh, anyways, we're heading out to walk around in the swamp today, flip some cover, and look for mud snakes and king snakes. So we're going to move this guy off the road, and I will keep you guys updated on how the day goes. All right, everyone. So we started off the day with that four-toed salamander, and Graham and I just spent the last few minutes in Walmart purchasing rakes. We're going to go try to rake up some mud snakes here in Metro Atlanta. It can only go one way, and that's not good, but we're gonna try. We've got some cover out here to flip to, so we're gonna do that. All right, first 10 of the day. I put this out for kings, hoping, hoping to get kings. There's an anole. Oh, ringneck. Nice, first snake bum, under this bum, 10. Bum. Awesome. Success. Good and dark. This makes me uh, hopeful that this tin will eventually produce a king. Food for kings is always a good sign. <laughs> nice little ring neck to start the day. There is our first snake of the day. There's a big cotton mouth right there, just basking in this debris. That's awesome. We're gonna see if we can get a better look at that guy. All right, well that cotton mouth slipped away. I think he went underwater right there in that little puddle. But next snake of the day, snakes are definitely out. So hopefully we're in for a pretty good day. All right, well, I sunk up to my ankles already, so it's gonna be a wet day out here, I think. All right, next stack of 10. I thought I put three here, but apparently not. All right, this is the first time flipping these rubber mats since we put them out. Oh, that looks good. Body. This is the type of muck we're dealing with out here. <laughs> There's another mat. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is the last one, so. It's gonna be. Look at all the worms and stuff. All right, guys, just kicked over a log and found this little guy. Nice little southern two-line salamander. Anyways, we'll pull him out and put his log back. But kind of expecting to see a good number of these guys today kicking around in the uh, swamp. So not too much of a surprise. All right, guys, just raked up our first snake of the day in this little pile of debris. At least the first one we found using this method. There's a nice little brown snake. Really common, obviously, but cool to actually see this raking method paying off. Um, this is the first snake I've ever found in Georgia doing this. But, I mean, he was basically under this log, and I just pulled it back with my, uh, my rake. And there he is. Anyways, really handsome, healthy little brown snake. I'm just gonna put him back in his little pile of debris. He was gaping at me before I saw yeah, him. that was tight. Look at this guy. We got a little cotton mouth chilling. Look at that. We were walking the edge of this beaver dam and spotted that guy right there. So this is really cool because this is the beaver dam. You see the water stops there. And then down here, there's him. There he is. Cramp just spotted a big snapping turtle. Look at that. It's a common, but snapping turtle nonetheless. Look at him chilling there. I'm a little bit better and then we'll let him back go. Look at that guy. We're gonna get a better look at this man. All right, Graham's gonna pick this guy up so y'all can see how big he is. Ugh. Look at that. That's a hefty man right there. God, Once again, he he's got a nice leech right there as well. This is a common snapping turtle. This is the smaller of the two snapping turtles that we could find in this creek. So that's awesome. <laughs> really cool, great way to kind of kick off the turtle season here. One of the first turtles I've seen this year, um, up close at least. So really awesome. Nice, healthy adult, common snapping turtle. We're gonna put him back in his brush pile. Clean my camera off, it's a little muddy. All right, so here's old Rocky. <laughs> There he goes. See you later, Rocky. Right back to his mud hole. That's awesome. <laughs> right back to where we found him. All right, guys, here's one more look at this big man. Just chilling in this puddle where we found him. But we're gonna back off, see what else we can turn up. All right, guys, the next snake of the day is one I've never seen here or in this county before. That is a little Eastern ribbon snake. That is awesome. I'm gonna get some photos real quick and we'll get a better look. 
All right, guys, so as we talked about a little bit earlier in this video, this is a really uncommon species in a lot of North Georgia. This is the first one I've seen in this county and potentially even a county record here in Metro Atlanta. So really cool, nice little in situ on this guy, just chilling in this little pile of sticks. So I'm gonna get a couple quick photos and leave him to it. He's got a meal in him too, so he's digesting that. But really cool find here uh, after the snapping turtle. This is definitely the highlight of the day so far for me. Seeing these guys in new places is always awesome. So. We're gonna leave him right there and keep moving. <laughs> All right, guys, so Graham and I were raking through this mud here and uh, not really finding anything. And I look up and I see this guy swimming across the water. I'm guessing, uh, I don't know how, maybe he was out on the crawl and we disturbed him when we were raking. He's probably but, up in these leaves and just had a yeah. great fall. <laughs> Either way. We were raking along and I looked up and this guy was swimming around. Not what I was expecting at all to be in the water, but little brown snake, second one of the day. Today's one of those days where the weather is just fantastic. It feels amazing. There's snakes everywhere, turtles, everything. Everything's perfect. We just have to turn something up that makes this an incredible day. So we're gonna keep at it. We're enjoying ourselves out here finding lots of herps. So hopefully something amazing will turn up here soon. No one just spotted that now. All right. Now there are two. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. also real good. What is going on, dude? So I raked that brown snake up, and then on my way to see Graham uh, and get video of it, I spotted this guy basking. <laughs> God, no amount of showering fully gets rid of this dirt. So this decay eye is a really cool looking red one. He's got some real cool colors on him, and this one's also pretty nice. I mean, neither of them are anything to scoff at. Too nice looking to KI. I think this is like four and five for the day or something like that. Yeah. Here's our first turtle after lunch. There's a nice loggerhead musk turtle just chilling on the land right here. That's pretty cool. Not really expecting to see that. There's also a turtle on a log over there. I don't know what he is. I'm trying to see him through the bushes over there. Well, today has turned out to be a pretty good turtle day so far. Really nice little loggerhead here that was just sitting in the trail. I brought him down to the creek to rinse him off a little bit since he was a little muddy. All right, guys, while we were photographing the uh, little loggerhead over there, I spotted this little guy jumping around. Another cricket frog. We saw one of these earlier in the video, so figured I'd just give a quick little look at him. But very variable little species, really interesting and underappreciated. So right there, we've got an erythrogaster. And then over there, we've got another erythrogaster. Look at the colors on that one. Really cool. We're gonna see if we can get at least a nicer one in hand, I think. With like Crocs on. All right, guys, well, Graham got the, the uglier one, but the pretty one got away, unfortunately. This guy is deep in shed. Probably be a decent looking snake out of shed, though. He's real body. He's just crawled out. Might have even hatched late since he's got so much mud caked on his head and tail. He probably just popped out of a <laughs> nest somewhere. All right, guys, Greg's here now. And of course, in typical Greg fashion, walks up and finds a snapping turtle instantly. <laughs> but this time it's a little common. It's usually gator snappers, but this is the second common snapping turtle of the day. Just chilling out here on the land. Really strange. But anyways, we're gonna take some photos and then I'll give you a closer look. All right, guys, here's the next common snapper of the day that Greg spotted up close as you can see this guy is very tiny greg thinks he possibly overwintered in the nest and is coming out for the first time in his life now uh, a lot of turtle species will actually do this where they'll stay in the nest over the winter and wait to emerge the following spring um, climate trends and other things impact whether or not that's what they do or not but either way really cool awesome to see two common snapping turtles today hopefully we can pull out an alligator snapper here today but uh the water's super murky as you can see so the odds of that are pretty low. But either way, two common snappers, really good day of turtling to start off uh, the turtle season here in 2021. So we're just gonna put this guy back. All right, guys, I've got Greg's polarizing sunglasses in front of my camera right now so you can see what's going on here. But right there, there's a stink pot, a uh, common musk turtle, chowing down on a dead fish. You can barely see him, but you can kind of see half of a fish there and then the outline of the stink pot. But we don't want to mess with that guy since he's in the middle of a meal, but really cool observation. All right, guys, we got a nice water snake there. And then over there, we've got a pile of Midland waters just chilling. Tons of snakes out here today. Hopefully we can get a king. All 
All right, here we have Graham's Life or Queen Snake, a titanic one. One of the biggest I've ever seen. Looks like it might, it's got like a kinked back and it might also be gravid, hard to tell. So we're not gonna mess with it too much, but we're gonna get some quick shots. Yeah, they're awesome, underappreciated. Well, here's one more look at Graham's Life or Queen. Being super cooperative, chilling here in his hand now. She just got arranged in a way that she likes. So we're gonna get a couple quick shots and put her back in her tree. Holy geez. <laughs> so here's the first queen snake. And then up in the bush right there where we're taking pictures, there's another one of the same size. Tons of snakes out today, insane. It's a perfect overcast spring day for this. There's another one. All right guys, next snake of the day, yet another brown snake, yet another brown snake basking. This is 100% in C2, just chilling on top of this little brush pile right here. Look at that guy. Just chilling. Anyways, we're gonna leave him right there after a couple quick photos. There are so many snakes out today, we have to get a king snake, it feels like. It feels so good, and there's tons of snakes out, so we're just gonna keep at it until it either gets dark or we find what we're looking for. The grounds and cross-section of the square. Yeah. All right, guys, like literally 10 feet past the brown snake, another Midland water snake right here. Just an absolutely absurd amount of snakes out right now. I'm just going to keep showing quick in C2s of the stuff we've already seen a bunch of today and keep moving. So one jumped in, but there's another one right in there. Right there, you can kind of see him. We're going to try to catch that one. I grabbed this guy because he was a little more colorful than a lot of the ones we've been seeing. Um, not quite as nice as I was hoping, but definitely one of the nicer ones so far today. Hopefully we'll get our hands on a nice orange one here, but another Midland, probably the 10th or so of the day. I don't know if you noticed that. The amount of water snakes out is insane. There's one right there and another one that just went in. He was big and more pretty, but what on earth? That's what cloudy days in March will do. I look Greg's out there doing turtle stuff. There's another queen snake right there. Just chilling. We're going to leave her alone, but I figured I'd show you. Oh, we got another one right here. Greg's stacking turtles over here. Yeah, we got a, oh, dude, a mud Is that a mud? Oh, yeah. Is that an eastern <laughs> mud? That's yeah, an eastern mud. What on earth? I had a feeling it was moving like a mud turtle. Very like, nice. That's not a musk. Greg just grabbed a common musk and an eastern mud. Uh, the eastern mud's a real good find for around here. Yeah. All right, here's a good look at these two. So how can you tell this is an eastern mud, not a striped uh, mud, Greg? Uh, the carapace, or sorry, the plastron right here in the uh, striped muds, it's a deeper groove, and then this kind of tapers off a little bit narrower. Um, and then the carapace has like a bit of a different shape. And then they have a stripe that runs from the eye to the tip of the nose in the striped mud turtles. It may be diffused behind the eye, but it'll always be solid um, from the eye to the tip of the nose. Cool. And then Easterns have like usually a crosshair iris. Awesome. Well, two more turtles to add to the list for the day. We're gonna put them back. All right, guys. Well, here's one more look at these two turtles that Greg captured. Nice little Eastern mud, or actually this is an adult Eastern mud. They're not a very big turtle, but this stink pot will get a little bit bigger to about the size of the mud or a little bit larger. But either way, two more cool looking turtles. Glad we got to get a stink pot in hand after leaving that other one alone because he was eating. But either way, nice little handful of turtle here. We're gonna put them back. All right, that's only the second ring neck of the day, I think. We got one first thing and haven't seen another one since. But we're flipping this tarp. Hopefully there'll be more snakes under here. Bigger, prettier too. All right, guys, flipping this tarp still. Greg and I both flipped water snakes under it in different parts. He got one down there. I got one right here. Mine's biting me, his is not. Sheesh, grumpy boys. This is like water snake 15 and 16 for the day or something ridiculous. All right, guys, so we were heading back to the car on this beautiful day and we spotted this really conspicuous looking tree. I checked it out on the way down, but on the way back, I peeked behind the bark a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that was behind the bark. Ow! <laughs> Uh, you I've been waiting good, for him to do that for like good. That's badass. How's his oh, belly? Oh man. Well, there we go. Eastern king snake. That makes Lampropeltis. What is this? Four days in a row of finding Lampropeltis. Yeah. Jesus, what a beautiful snake. 
uh, you guys will hear in Greg and Graham's videos. This is actually a snake I found before too, but we're about a half of a mile, if not more, from where I found him last year, almost a year ago to this day, out on the crawl on a really hot day in late March last year. I wondered if it was the same snake at first, but then we compared some, uh, some facial markings and it is definitely the same guy. He's grown a good bit since we saw him last. What a way to get a recapture. Normally when you're getting recaptures, it's undercover, but it's really weird to hike a snake or to flip, or I guess, I guess he was technically flipped under bark, but either way, ridiculous. Absolutely stunning Eastern King snake. No this is such an awesome snake. I'm so glad this guy's doing well. This is a really urban area, so it's good to see big king snakes living, thriving in this area, not getting killed, not getting run over. It's awesome. Look at this snake. He's so perfect. I'm gonna set this lens cap on this lens. That's cool, thank you. Big, handsome, healthy male Eastern King Snake here in Metro Atlanta. All right, guys, it was an absolute pleasure to get to see this guy again today. Hopefully it won't be the last time I see him, but I am looking forward to finding new snakes at this spot, seeing as the only king I've seen here is this guy, and I've seen him two years in a row now. So. Anyways, we're gonna let him go and uh, go see if we can find another one or maybe some more turtles or whatever we can turn up. But either way, awesome Eastern King Snake. Just what we were hoping to see today in a county that has been a real pain for me to turn him up in here in Metro Atlanta. So we're gonna let him go and get back to it. All right, guys, just flipped a nice big slimy under this cinder block. Figured I'd show him real quick. He's got pretty reduced spotting, which is interesting. Move these leaves off of him. Really cool. Anyways, I'm just gonna put that back down. He's in that nice little space right there. He's gonna go for something, I think. It's a little thing. He did, it's got a fish. That's awesome. Nat Geo. All right guys, Graham and I are out here road cruising now and we just found our first road cruise snake of the year in this area, oh. a freaking ribbon snake. What is with the ribbons? Anyways, <sighs> road cruising season has finally arrived again here in North Georgia and really unexpected snake to start the season. Anyways, ribbon snake here in North Georgia, the second one of the day in a different county, this time in a county that I've seen more of them in. Really good find for around here, so I'm stoked to see him. I only saw maybe five or six of these guys all last year and until last year, I'd never seen one here, so really cool we're just gonna escort him across the road really hoping to see a mole king tonight that would be awesome so we're gonna move him and keep after it all right guys we're doing a pond walk to round off this video it's not raining that stuff you're seeing in front of my flashlight is in fact pollen blowing off of all the pine trees because it's that time of year here so either way we're walking around it was supposed to rain but it hasn't yet but there are a couple of american toads here in the pond those ones right there are in amplexus that one's just real red and then there's this guy right here who's pretty normal looking. Okay. All right, guys, there's a big bullfrog right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to catch him. It didn't work. <laughs> so we just came ridiculously close to being directly hit by a tornado. It ripped through the town I live in. We don't really have any idea how bad the damage is right now, but, uh, now it's nice and drizzling, so we're out here looking at frogs. What else is there to do? Check this guy out. Handsome little spring peeper in my driveway. Sounds like there's whoop. Sounds like there's <laughs> going to be a lot of frogs out, so we're gonna get after it and see what we can turn up. All right, guys, here at the base of my driveway now, we have a new species for the video. A nice little Cope's gray tree frog. This is the first one we've actually gotten a look at this spring. These are harbingers of mid-spring around here. Um, when these guys start coming out and calling, you know that it's spring and spring is here to stay. So really awesome to see this guy. I expect we'll probably see a couple more tonight. So we're going to move him out of my driveway and keep walking. It's Mander 30. That's a salamander right there. Nice. Four toad. Starting and ending the day with four toad salamanders. <laughs> Seeing as we cruised one at 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, maybe not quite. Here's another American toad. A couple of these guys on our pass back. This is going to be a long video. 
It's me and my good boy friend. He just hangs out. Isn't he so chill? That thing is. Oh my as fuck. goodness, guys! We just found Oops. the goat cricket frog. Look at this the, thing. The goat of. That is unde. Whoa! Oh. That is so insane. Look at this thing. We're going back up to the house to get my camera. All right, guys, here's one last look at this ridiculous cricket frog before we let him go. Just look at that. That is amazing. Really great way to end the video. So I'm probably going to wrap this up here for the second time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.